serious question of safety is being asked after a fire hydrant failed during a Hazleton firefight. In the case of a fire, there's a chance the hydrant in front of your home won't function. Is the fire hydrant in your neighborhood working? Hundreds upon hundreds remain out of service in Kansas City. Defective hydrants risk lives. While technology and other firefighting equipment has been revamped, the hydrant has not been redesigned in over a century. Which ones work and they which ones don't? They tried not one, but two fire hydrants. The fire hydrant in front of this house This hydrant failed. right in front of the house was not working. So a former New York City firefighter has designed a hydrant that is virtually indestructible. As a firefighter, New York City firefighter, I recognize the need that there had to be a change in the reliability of a fire hydrant was. In 100 years, there hasn't been no real significant change, even though we know where the issues and problems are. Well, fire hydrants are the critical part of the fire extinguishment tactic. A hydrant is as important as a firefighter. We have standards. Uh, we get to the scene within four minutes. We, want ha we have set up time, which means connecting to a hydrant, stretching a hose line, another four minutes, and we expect that water to be on the fire in eight minutes, and when the hydrant is broken, uh, we don't accomplish that. Through better engineering and better materials, we've come up with a solution. It's called the Sigalock Spartan Fire Hydrant. Here's your basic, standard, conventional fire hydrant. And you can see how the corrosion on there exists, because they just put regular paint on there. It's totally vulnerable, accessible. These things can get damaged and bent. These can get cross-threaded. They throw debris inside. But the integrity of this hydrant is easily compromised because it's, it's, everything's accessible and exposed to the elements. What I've done is I deconstructed the fire hydrant and, I, and identified all the vulnerable parts of a hydrant that are known to break down and fail, you know, consistently. Now you can see obviously just by appearance how much different they look. You can notice that the operate where the water's gonna come out is much higher, which is better for the firefighter to be able to put his thing on there. You have the uh, snow pole, okay? And all the in in integral parts are uh, encapsulated inside the hydrant. So you can't, there's nothing where the elements can get to it or you can't put wrenches, there's not, nowhere to put a wrench on. You need a special tool to do that. Okay, so what all I do is come up with this tool, crack that open like that, spin that off, take that off. Now everything's out of your way. The hydrant's in perfect working order. If I want to get water, it comes out like that, and then take the caps off, they come right off. Inside up on top, you see there's a grease fitting. So it's a very simple, you know, less complicated hydrant. And we're within 10 to 20% of the cost of a, a, a traditional hydrant. So we're not even that much more, but we do so much more. So it's a, a, a cradle to grave, you can't afford not to have our hydrant in the ground. So we're in about a dozen US states right now. We have 150 hydrants in the ground in those 12 states. And the reason there aren't more is because typically a municipality will want to buy one or two and put it through its paces over a four season cycle and determine for themselves, let the fire department work on them extensively and determine that, you know, it doesn't leak, it doesn't freeze in the winter time, it won't rust or corrode or break down. And then once that happens, they start to order more hydrants. People don't realize the need for a hydrant until it's their house that's on fire and all of a sudden that hydrant's not working and people are yelling, screaming out of the building and firefighters are putting their lives at risk. You know, and it's unnecessary. It's, it's something that time has come. People believe they're just an ordinary fixture in the street. They are life-saving fire department appliances, and they shouldn't be used, uh, you know, uh, for washing cars or for cleaning streets. People do not understand the importance of these types. When you're at a fire and a hydrant doesn't work and the firefighters are standing around and no one can get water out of the hose, then you understand how important a fire hydrant is.